Hi friends, welcome to JMK Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discussing about the MCC mass approach. So, in the previous video, we discussed uh, what about the that is nothing but what are the consequences in case of the VTC mass variable threshold C mass. In case of MCC mass, is nothing but multiple threshold C mass approach. So, the major drawback in case of the VTC mass is nothing but just we have to maintain another circuit. That circuit is also uh, takes some area in the overall shift, so that is also one of the limitation. Moreover, we have to, uh, we are altering the corresponding circuit operation, that means biasing voltages are changes in the internal circuit of the P mass as well as the N mass transistor in the C mass technology. Now, let us move on to the empty C mass circuit, it is very important. Empty C mass approach is uh, implemented by applying the high speed and low low power circuits from operating from 1 volt tech, 1 volt supply voltage that means uh, we are taking the supply voltage range, range from 1 volt onwards only so in this approach MOSFETs with a different threshold voltages are used in the single chip this is a basic idea behind the empty CMOS circuit okay empty circuits means that in this approach empty CMOS with the two different threshold voltages are used in a single chip by maintaining the two different voltages, uh, threshold voltages in the chip, we can achieve the uh, highest speed of the corresponding device as well as the lesser power dissipation in the circuit also. As well as, uh, in this case also, like uh, in case of the VTC mass, it is also consisting of a two modes, that is nothing but one is nothing but active mode and second one is nothing but a sleep mode. As well as the basic uh, circuit diagram for the uh, MTC mass with uh, two input NAND gate realization structure is shown in figure. In this uh, case, this is nothing but a, this, uh, this part is generally consisting of a low VT transistor. This uh, uh, NAND gate relations can be done with the help of a CMOS and NMOS transistor. Those CMOS and NMOS transistors are the low VT transistors. Okay. As well as this top uh, transistor is a PMOS transistor and bottom transistor is also called as a NMOS transistor. These two transistors are generally called as, called as a sleep transistors okay sleep transistors these two transistors having a high vt that means the threshold voltage is nothing but high for these two transistors this part the internal part of the transistors consisting of a low vt transistors okay low vt transistor so why this we are maintaining the low threshold voltage means that it maintains the performance or speed is increases high threshold voltage means that it reduces the leakage current therefore we are maintaining the performance in the good level as well as we are decreasing the corresponding uh, leakage current therefore we can achieve the overall power dissipation with the less compared to the previous segment. that is the basic agenda right so next uh, uh, VTC mass is uh, basic diagram this is a basic diagram for that one so uh, we can uh, if you want to replace the internal circuit diagram with inverter that is also possible no it is not a compulsory compulsory it consisting of the uh, NAND gate uh, like that just if you want to take it as an inverter that should be also fine okay suppose let us see uh, the same transistor can be represented like this also it is a PMOS circuit it is a we can also call it a sleep transistor this circuit the above circuit can be replaced with like this also if you are taking a one PMOS circuit Okay, this is a CMOS network, it is an input and in the bottom side also you can take another sleep transistor that is nothing but uh, NMOS transistor, the ground, this is a supply. So the above circuit is also going to be replaced, right? This is nothing but SL, SL bar. Okay, so these two transistors, these two transistors can be designed, these two transistors can be designed with the low VT actually, these two transistors can be designed these are the low VT transistors ok, why because in order to maintain the performance is increases these low, uh, two transistors are generally called as a high VT transistor in order to reduce the leakage current leakage current that is the basic uh, idea behind this empty CMOS circuit ok let's move on to the next one 
So this is a circuit diagram. So this uh, SL and SL bar are the complementary input. That means if you are applying the zero input to this one, obviously the PMOS transistor isn't going to be in on condition. As well as this SL bar is also one. Therefore, this is also is in on condition in the normal mode of operation. So let's move on to the next one. So the realization of the two input NAND gate is shown in figure in the uh, previous slide. So here the low threshold voltages range is nothing but around 0.2 to 0.3. Instead of connecting the power terminals to the gate directly to the power supply, we are using VDD and gate. So that means we are maintaining a one kind of the virtual network. Right? So generally, uh, if you want to operate the corresponding this low VT transistor, obviously we need a some connection mechanism is required, right? So this is generally connected to the high VD. This is generally connected to the some supply voltage. Some VDD is mandatory if you want to operate the corresponding devices as well as ground. But here directly we are not connecting the ground terminal. So that can be maintained with the help of a two another transistor. These two transistors. These two transistors provide the VDD as well as ground. Actually, this VDD and ground is not directly connected to the power rails. So that's why these. Uh, VDD and ground is generally called as a virtual ground as well as virtual VDD. So that is a one important point you have to notice here. As well as uh, the real and virtual power lines, supply lines are linked by the MOS transistor that is nothing but Q1 and Q2 transistor. These two transistors are the high threshold transistor, high threshold volt. That means so the range of these transistors is nothing but 0.5 to 0.6 volt means sir initially in case of the so here 0.2 to 0.5 in the normal mode of operation but if you go for the flip uh, transistor it consisting of 0.5 to 0.6 volt means sir the threshold voltage is also very high therefore which reduces the leakage current that reduces the leakage current in terms leads to reducing the power dissipation values. So that is the basic agenda. So that is the basic purpose of the slick transistors. Uh, that is nothing but PMOS transistor Q1 as well as Q2 are used in this scenario. So these Q1 and Q2 transistors are act as the slick transistors for the corresponding uh, empty CMOS network. Okay. So in case of the active mode, when the slick signal is zero, that means uh, low for both Q1 and Q2, in terms of the um, on the corresponding two PMOS transistor as well as NMOS transistor that provides a, a power lines to the VDD that is nothing but virtual VDD so that's why we can represent VDD B actually if you want to replace this one VVD is also fine. In this mode NAND gate operates at a high speed because of the we are providing the low threshold voltages to the corresponding internal circuit so that's why the NAND gate is operated with a high threshold high speed because of we are providing the low threshold voltage means the it, it, it produces a high good performance as well as in the sleep mode SL in the sleep mode SL is set to high and turn the both Q1 and Q2 is in half condition therefore isolating the real supply lines from the virtual VDD as well as ground so as the sleep transistors are in a high threshold voltage means that there is around 0.6 volts the leakage current flows to the two transistors will be significantly smaller in this mode so as a consequence, leakage power consumption during the standby mode dramatically uh, reduced by a the sleep control. That is the basic thing behind the corresponding MTC mass approach. As well as these are the some of the statistics uh, given by the uh, some papers published in the IEP transaction. So first one is nothing but the delay of the MTC mass gate is very smaller compared to the conventional high TC mass. That means uh, the C mass circuit with the high threshold voltage. Delay is very high compared to the empty CMOS circuit with the low threshold voltage. As well as this graph shows the three graphs here. The first one is nothing but. So three graphs will be there here. So first one is nothing but this is nothing but CMOS circuit, CMOS circuit with the high VT. That means high threshold voltage, high threshold voltage. So delay is increases. So the last graph shows the conventional CMOS as well as CMOS circuit with the low VT transistor. That means if you are increase, if you are decreasing the threshold voltage means that obviously low VT, low VT means that obviously delay is also, that was delay is also decreases. 
So um, the middle one is nothing but empty CMOS graph. Empty CMOS graph is nothing but it is a very uh, delay is very high, uh, very uh, delay is very little bit high compared to the conventional low VT CMOS circuit. So that's why uh, empty CMOS is a better approach for all the consideration. As well as uh, uh, if you are comparing in terms of statistics point of view, empty CMOS gate delay time is reduced by 70% as compared to the conventional. That means uh, empty CMOS is a better choice for uh, reducing the delay of the circuits is also. So that is the. So uh, obviously uh, it is also having two important parameters. Empty CMOS also affected by the two parameters. One is nothing but speed performance of the empty circuit, and the other one is nothing but width of the sleep control transistor as well as capacitance of the virtual power line. These are all the two important parameters to maintain the corresponding speed as well as the overall switching activities also. The main advantage of the empty SEMA circuit is that it can be easily implemented without uh, changing the circuit behavior, without changing the uh, existing circuit. That is one of the basic advantage of the empty circuit. In case of the VTC mass, we are changing the corresponding uh, two legs. That means we are applying the different biases to the internal circuit as well as we are uh, changing the somewhat circuit is also. So that kind of the complexity is not there in case of the empty SEMA circuit. Because of empty, empty SEMA circuit is only uh, adding the, some two transistors, three transistors that is not but P mass and the N mass. Uh, to the corresponding existing circuit. That's why uh, no circuit uh, alteration is uh, required in case of the empty SEMA circuit. As well as empty SEMA circuit is also having one drawback is there. That is nothing but it is suffers from the uh, stand, it is reduced the leakage power in the standby mode only. So as well as if you are inserting the such a kind of the sleep transistor, always uh, it increases the both the area and the de uh, delay penalty because of oh, no circuit is uh, one sided in the universe. So that is why it is also having some drug. So these kind of the problems can be overcome by the dual VT approach that will be discussed in the later session. So this is nothing but empty circuit, empty CMOS uh, overall operation. So thank you for watching GMK today.